There are toxic relationships, then there is Sid and Nancy. Their destructive relationship gave them worldwide notoriety and ended in their death, which led to a romanticized image of their story. Nancy Spungen was born February 27, 1958 in Philadelphia to a middle-class family. It is believed birth complications contributed to her difficult behavior. She was put on liquid barbiturates at three months old due to non-stop screaming. As she got older, she acted violently towards her younger sister and even chased a babysitter with scissors. At age 15, she was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Despite these challenges, she academically excelled and started university at age 16. But it was short-lived because she got expelled for buying marijuana from an undercover police officer and storing stolen goods in her dorm room. She avoided jail time in exchange for a plea bargain that saw her banned from the state of Colorado. She moved to New York and in December 1976, she flew to London with punk band The Heartbreakers. On her first night there, she met Sid Vicious and by March 1977, they were living together. Sid Vicious was born Simon John Ritchie on May 10th, 1957. He and his mother moved to Ibiza shortly after his birth, expecting his father to join them. But he didn't show up nor provide financial support. His mother turned to selling drugs to get by and managed to get back to England with the help of the embassy in Spain. In 1965, his mother got married, but his stepfather died six months later of kidney failure. His mother became addicted to heroin, and when Sid turned 16, she kicked him out of the house. Sid's relationship with Nancy was volatile. Nancy supported herself by dealing drugs and working as a topless dancer. Sid physically abused her, and they shared an infatuation with knives. By the time Sid and Nancy moved into room 100 at the Chelsea Hotel on August 24th, 1978, the Sex Pistols had broken up, both had full-fledged addictions, and Nancy was now managing Sid. He played lucrative gigs at New York Club Max's Kansas City, but Nancy still had to call home to ask her parents for money. On the night of October 11th, 1978, Sid and Nancy hosted a party in their hotel room. Sid took 30 pills and was comatose while people came and went. At 11 a.m. the next morning, Nancy was found dead in the bathroom from a single stab wound to her stomach. She had been stabbed by a Jaguar Wilderness K-11 knife with a 5-inch blade, and there was a trail of blood leading to their bed. Sid was the number one suspect. When police arrived at the Chelsea Hotel, he was in the hallway, agitated and had a battered face. He told police at the scene that Nancy had been alive when he woke up. He also told them that the night before, she had been flicking a knife in bed. Sid admitted to finding Nancy in the bathroom with a stab wound and still breathing. He left her without calling for help and went to get his methadone. When asked why, he replied, I'm a dog. Sid then admitted that he had stabbed her but hadn't meant to kill her. The autopsy by Associate Medical Examiner Dr. Nita Natarajan conducted on the Friday evening concluded that this was not a frenzied attack. Nancy Spungen died of external and internal hemorrhaging caused by a one-inch wide incision into her lower abdomen, deep enough to rupture the mesenteric blood vessels, and that fatal injury had occurred sometime between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. Sid was charged with Nancy's murder. His bail was $50,000, and it was paid by Virgin Records, who also paid his legal fees. Sid attempted to commit suicide, but was found in time and rushed to hospital. Upon leaving hospital, he started seeing other women. On December 5th, 1978, 
He was in a bar fight where he used a broken beer bottle to attack Patty Smith's brother. Sid's bail was revoked and he was sent to Rikers Island for mandatory detox. On January 18, 1979, Sid received bail of $10,000 and was released on February 1st after completing his detox program. Sid asked his friend Peter Gravel to score him drugs. Peter brought $200 of heroin to the apartment of Sid's new girlfriend, Michelle Robinson. Peter said they sat around doing drugs until 3 a.m. and that Sid was nodding out when Robinson gave him four quaaludes. Also present was Sid's mother. Sid was found dead February 2nd of a drug overdose. There are many theories about who killed Nancy. Sid and Nancy are reported to have had $24,000 in cash in their room when Nancy was killed, but it wasn't in the room when police arrived, nor was it ever recovered. Could it have been a robbery or a drug deal gone bad? There was also the note from Sid about their suicide pact. Was this a suicide pact gone wrong? Did Sid get cold feet? Or did Nancy stab herself with the intention of getting Sid's attention? She had a history of hurting herself to get Sid's attention. Or did Sid murder her, either accidentally or intentionally? Whatever happened, nobody will ever know because the police case was closed when Sid died. <laughs>